Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It was inspired by a card that Natalie O'Shea um, designed as a make and take when we did the recent, um, we had a stand at the Make It show in Farnborough. It was just absolutely stunning, I really like this. Um, and this is my spin on it. So to start with, the card pieces you're going to need, you need a Whisper White card base which is eight and a quarter by five and three quarters, scored and folded in half, a piece of rose red cardstock which measures three and five eighths by five and a quarter, another piece of Whisper White which measures three and a half by five and one eighth, and then a piece of Whisper White that measures approximately two and a half by two and a half inches which is for the sentiment and then scraps of rose red just to do the outside of the punched shape there. So the first part I'm going to do is the main background. Let's just get my scrap sheet here and I've already mounted my stamp one of the things that I have done, which I haven't seen anybody else do yet, is this is a stamp set, Painted Petals, and this image here, this little bit here, I think looks like a um, ladybird. So what I've done on mine is where that has appeared, I've put some black dots on it and made it look really like a ladybird. Um, another thing that I've done that makes mine a little bit different, if I can show you this one here, um, on the leaves, that's how the leaves appear when you first stamp them, and when I do them, I use my uh, pear pizzazz, did I use on this one? Yes, pear pizzazz. Um, I've drawn a little vein onto the leaves, you see the difference there? It's just a little detail, but I just think it um, makes it a little bit different and it just finishes it off a little bit. So I'm going to use Rose Red Ink. Oh, by the way, what I did with my um, Ladybird, I actually cut it off so I can use it separately. Um, obviously, if you do do this to any of your stamps, um, your guarantee from stamping up becomes null and void but I don't expect to have any trouble with my stamps from stamping up so it's not something I worry about. Okay so I'm just going to go from the bottom left hand corner up to the top right hand corner I have to say this is my absolute favourite stamp at the moment just absolutely love it. In fact, let's take the ladybird off that one. And so that's the red flowers I'm going to do. And I'm going to use my small square. And I just want to do one more ladybird. Uh, so one up, one down. Let's do one sideways. Well, maybe slightly down. And one up here. Okay, so that's all the red that I'm going to do. Now the leaves, I'm going to be using Pepperzaz ink. And some of the leaves, I'm using the two individual leaves here, but some of them I'm going to do as the two leaves together, like this. And then some of them I'm going to do as singles, depending on how they fit in to the way I've done my flowers. The way the stamps have been made, um, 
make them really look like um, watercolouring because they've done the light and dark bits. So it's nothing that we have to actually uh, think about, just stamp and uh, that's the way it comes up. Now I'm going to go for just one um, stamp. I'll just do a couple of the others. They're, the shape isn't hugely different, but there's enough of a difference there to make it uh, ring the changes in it. In fact, let's have a couple on the inside, I think, as well. And just one more. So that's all my stamping on that part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer all of this together. I'm going to use my snail. this on my card base not sure what I've got on there do I have my uh, adhesive, yes, adhesive rubber eraser here. Pick off those little bits. I'm not sure it is. Nope, okay. There's nothing that I've done, must be in the paper. Right, okay, so the next part I'm going to do is the uh, sentiment. So I'm going to start with the thank you. Start uh, using Pepper's Az Ink and I'm going to stamp this in the middle of my piece of cardstock that is middle from side to side and about two fifths of the way down. That's beautiful and now I'm going to stamp the flowers and I should have brought the um, two small flowers with me but I think I've left those outside. Never mind, we can work with this. So rose red ink and I'm going to put my flowers as close to the thank you as I can. And again, I want some flower to come at the side there. And of course my ladybird. So where did I do that one? By the Y on the U. And the other one off to the top right hand side of the K and thank you. Okay. Right. So I'll bring my marker pens in. The paper Zaz is for the leaves just to do the vein. Obviously this bit is uh, totally optional. Now 
there we go, that's that, and then we'll give the ladybirds some black spots. Then I'll do some spots on these ladybirds. Oh, oops, don't disappear. Okay, so we're going to punch that out and I think this is called the bracket label punch. I will make sure the correct name is on the screen and then just pop this in to see where I think it looks best to punch out. Um, as long as I've got my ladybirds in there, flowers, thank you, yep. Okay, so that looks good. And then I want to have the border, the rose red border going around here and You've probably seen me do this before. I don't punch out complete shapes to get my um, background. I just take a scrap, I put it in to get one, and then I slide that down to get another one. And I move along. Okay, see how far down I'm going with that. Slide down again and again see how far I've gone. That's quite thrifty, isn't it? Okay, so with these four pieces, those two are fine as they are, um, just going up very slightly. So I will trim that there, that one's okay. Now these two, I'm going to trim them off right in that crease there. Okay, so you finish up like that. Two of those. And what I need is my snail. Just do top and bottom. And I will do the big pieces first. And then put some snail on the other two sides. A card maker would notice what's been done here but I think anybody who receives this at, as a card aren't going to be aware that uh, that's been put together like that. Now I've forgotten to bring my uh, dimensionals over so I'm going to have to use some non-stamping up ones. Not so keen on these because they're quite a bit higher then stamping up and they're a lot smaller so they're very fiddly but for the sake of this video they will do on this occasion
See, they're so tiny. There we go. All right. So I am just going to put pop this down here. In fact, I'm going to move it down into the corner a bit because otherwise I can do a um, ladybird. Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. There we go. Nice, quick and easy card. Um, there was one other that I've done here which is a little bit different in as much as I put the sentiment up towards the top there. So, you can see. I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try. Um, and I have to say that this Painted Petals stamp set is absolutely brilliant. There are just so many different things you could do with it. I think this is fantastic value for money. Anyway, many thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, please contact me. I'll be happy to help you. If you have enjoyed watching this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button, which would either be on your top right hand side or there'll be a red button below the screen, um, depending on what you're watching this on. If you would like to purchase any of the products that I've um, used here, please visit my 24-7 online stamping up shop, which you'll find the link to on my website at www.jambicards.com Many thanks for joining me. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheerio!